Hey, I didn't land here, okay? Drax did. Ah, this stuff is gross. Ah, uh, are you kidding me? Ah, wet fur is the worst. Fuck it. You all right? That's it. I hate water. I hate being wet. And I hate not getting paid. We're not here to get paid. We're here to save Drax. Guys, this is Lamentis, home of the priests of Pama. More religious nutjobs, great. They aren't nuts. They're pacifist exiles from- Pacifists. That's even worse. <laughs> you saw them on nowhere? So how do you know this place? I came here after a job went bad. What kind of job? It involved my sister, and it's not relevant right now. If Drax thinks this is the matriarch's planet, something's off. Would you quit splashing around already? Okay, okay. Just getting a lay of the land. It ain't land, Quill. It's the whole problem. What do you mean the plants here are strange? Everything here is strange. Are those even trees? And what are those? Yeah, well, the Milano's your home now. Smell that ocean air, it's so... The village is this way. You know, for someone who's been here before, you ain't saying a whole lot. It's so... vast. Or beautiful. And wet. What? What'd Groot say? It's nothing. And don't make that face. You know I hate that face. Uh, tell me we ain't crossing above an ocean. Only part of an ocean. Uh, Don't fall, you won't get wet. Yeah? Well, how do you know Drax didn't fall? Quit worrying, Rocket. Anything happens, Gamora will jump in after you. I will? She will? Yes, because we're a team. And Gamora's the most sprightly. Ugh, I think I'd rather drown. We should sink on our plan for when we find Drax. Shoot first, plan later. We're not shooting Drax. But you were willing to shoot Rocket? Yeah, what does Scott Quill? Drax is the one in need right now, and I'm gonna do whatever it takes to help him. We all are. Found Drax! Lying scoundrel. Where is she? Where is the matriarch? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Cut him down! Drax! Buddy, just calm down! No, she called me here! To mend for the lost! Rocket, a little help here! Uh. <laughs> How did you... What? Oh, that. Lysa once taught me the art of striking one spot and many times. There's an Omphad who teaches me later. Don't worry, Green Meanie's fine. <clears throat> oh, my name. What are we doing here, Mantis? I told him to come. On nowhere. I saw time inside his mind. The lies that bind. I mean, what's a girl to do? 
whisper a course correct, obviously. <laughs> The one of your girlfriends, Quill? Oh, no. <laughs> Not in this time. Come on! The creepy cave's this way! The what now? The creepy cave! Where the darkest of our future paths will meet. Dark is an unknown, not as in bad. I mean, it might be bad. But no way can it be worse than the futures I did see, because those were definitely bad. Very bad. You don't want to know how bad. Can someone please translate her? I am Groot. The point is, or was, or which parts of the point have I made already? Uh, the creepy cave. Yes, that's right. Big strong heart carries so much sorrow inside. In all futures, he's the one who turns, and in some, we save him here. Where the Kotadi take root. So, just to be clear, there's a timeline where me and you. Peter, focus. Right. Uh, what's a Kotadi? I am. Uh, plant people like Groot, but uh, lame. The Kotadi are a highly evolved, highly sacred race of pacifist beings who grace us with their meditative powers. They also guard the secrets of the ancient cave. Can they temporarily unguard it? Oh no, they take this duty quite seriously. Our only hope of entering is to appeal to their infinite wisdom. <laughs> What are we looking for in here? She doesn't know. Something that's gonna help Drax. We're all just taking the word of this space case. She's not a space... Ooh, spooky! Spooky is right. Uh, more like deadly. Are we sure about this? Nope. Maybe Drax just needs to sleep it off. I mean, he seems fine. Ish. My telepathic control won't last, little fuzzy. Only green. Double floor. Yeah. Hollis didn't sense that one in time. Everyone just remember we're here for Drax. Though, it would be easier if we had some idea of what we're looking for. Oh, for sure. It's always easier when you know things. Like, no, no. But you don't. The cave's gonna kill us all! Oh no, not all of us. Not this time. More water? What's wrong with this lousy planet? Doesn't seem that bad. Seems deadly and cold. What? Come on, Rocket. A little water's not gonna hurt you. Death by drowning's actually quite common throughout Little Fuzzy's alternate futures. I'm sure it'll get drier from- I got! Giddy up! Crap! That was kinda close. That one sometimes gets Gamora. I doubt it. You're sure we're headed the right way, Mantis? I think so. Okay, well, it's too wide to jump here. We'll need to look around, find another way. Mantis, any chance Drax can... Green Meanie cannot be burdened. It takes all my mental fortitude to keep him enmeshed in lies. One misstep, and I lose him, and then he kills us all. Again. Any ideas, Gamora? Only one. I don't think he can help us right now. Nope. Draxy-waxy's under my spell. 
group. Maybe if we all push together... I am Groot. He says... He says it would need Green Meanie's help, but Green Meanie can't help. Until you help him. I spotted a little mousy hole here. You're up, Rocket. No way, Quill. Let's take a look through here. Maybe there's another way to cross. I'm Groot. Groot says we're being watched. Did he actually say that, or are you just trying to get us to turn around? I think I've got something over here, Peter. All right, Gamora, let's get up here. Why don't I just blast some of these rocks? Oh, no! no. I don't trust him not to kill us. What's your reason? I have seen so many futures where a little fuzzy dies in this cave. Rocket, you feeling lucky? I got this. Rocket, just stay to the side and try not to die. Want to talk about it, little fuzzy? Talk about what? The pain, fear, misery, grief. Seems Green Meanie isn't the only one hurting on the inside. Uh, you got your antenna crossed, lady. I ain't none of those things. <laughs> That's what Gamora always says, too. Yo, geniuses. This thing above me don't look too sturdy. Knock it loose and we got our bridge. Try your blasters, Peter. I saw the cutest little doll when I was on Nowhere. You'd love it. No, wait. No, wait. You aren't gonna like it. Well, which is it? I guess that'll depend on who you are when you're...